Welcome to the Relatable Oklahoma Realtors Podcast, the show that sets out to demystify the world of real estate. Whether you're a first-time home buyer, investor, or realtor with years of experience, this is where real estate is discussed and explained. Join me now for our hosts, Stacy and Merle Stricker. Oklahoma, relatable Oklahoma Realtor. I'm Burl Stricker. I'm Stacey Parnes Stricker. How are you? You'll never guess where we are. United Country Convention. It's a great place to be. You can see the beach right from where I'm at. And we have an audience and a special guest. Yes. Levi Cox is What's in up, the house. Glad to be here, folks. Well, I've known Levi for... Let's see how long you have known me. Four years? That's how long you've been in real estate? Five years? We first met in San Antonio. San Antonio. How long ago was that? That was my very first convention, which I think was 2017. Was it really? 2017. That's when I first met you. Was that five years? I'd say five years. That's six years. Good. Good. Six years. Where do you live at? So I'm in Floyd, Virginia. Okay. So I meet him, and he at the time, he was a police officer. Yeah. Just getting started mm. in real estate. And you told this story. I'm not even do halfway justice because we might have had some beverages too. But about some lady jumping on your back. You like went to oh, a, yeah, yeah. A, a, a domestic call, yeah. right? Yeah. At a trailer house. I've never read a bull, but I read one that she, night. <laughs> that, that's what you said. She's on, She gets on his back. That's funny. I He's wrote her for eight seconds. <laughs> It's the wildest ride this of my is life. This a G-rated family show. It is, yeah. <laughs> but she was getting arrested, so that's why I had to yeah, ride her for eight seconds. Yeah. But So uh, how long did you mix the careers, real estate? Two years. Yeah, two years. So got licensed in spring of 2015 with my good buddy, cousin, Matt Gallimore. By the way, they're all related. What was the reason for the switch? I mean, did you just well, decided to pursue a whole different... The, the short, non-complex reason was I had 15 years in police work and sort of was thinking about something to for retirement mm-hmm. when I yeah. when I got out of police work. And I thought that'd be a good foot in the door. Yeah. I had no clue what I was stepping into, what I was getting into. Looking back on it now, I realized the market was taking off about the same time I was deciding to get out. So the timing worked out mm-hmm. really well. But the... Um, and then the other reason, I just showed up to drop my kid off at basketball practice in December of 2014, mm-hmm. and the office manager was there, and I said, hey, she's my cousin. I said, hey, Heather. Again, they're all related. <laughs> they're all related. <laughs> I said, hey, Heather, Heather how's uh, real estate? She goes, yeah, pretty good. She's like, probably could use another agent or something. So that's what got the wheels turning. Yeah. And I'm like, retirement, real estate, seems like it might work out. Yeah. And then did that for two years, worked in both jobs. 2017 went full time after our conference. Yeah, that we that we went to. That was fun. And yeah. you guys were taught ten that year. We, we I can't remember. We what were you, uh, yeah, next you were top year. 10. The next year. No, that year. That and year. Then you made it personally top ten the next year. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Why do I remember this better than you? It's ridiculous. It all goes together. It does all together. I can remember us in Nashville, which was the next year. That was, yeah. I think that's when you were in top 10 personally. I think it was. So we're sitting there talking. And at that time, I think I told you that, you know, I was talking about purchasing the office or if I couldn't, I needed to hire an assistant. And you were talking about you needed help because yeah. you both were sharing, like, we couldn't keep going at that pace yeah. anymore. It's like, because you only have so much time in the day. Yeah. So then your wife came on how much longer after that to help you? Well, she, she came on a couple of years later. And, um, and, and, and now she's actually went back to work at the school system. Oh, she did. This, yeah. She's, she's assistant with uh, special education. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So she's, she's really enjoying that. So yeah. I'm sort of back to where I was at before. I mean, I'm going to have to discuss that with you again. Oh, no. <laughs> You're going to have so, to be a mentor. So we've, we've got Burl here who now has his real estate license. Mm-hmm. So he's like, he's like, I'll go show if you can help do the paperwork. Yeah, I don't like the paperwork. So well, I agree. Yeah, that's I, don't, I don't like just put me in, put me in the pickup truck and let me ride around. Put, people. put me in the game. Yeah. yeah. I actually, I enjoy that part. Plus the driving there, looking it up. I don't know. I yeah. Like yeah. What, um, when you think about, like, do you guys have a specialty on what you guys focus on in your firm, your office? 
I've never been not to Elk City, but I would say we're fairly similar. We do a lot of country homes. They're mm-hmm. a small town. What's the what's your population? Well, in the county, we've got about fifteen thousand in the yeah. county, but the county is four hundred square miles, so one stoplight in the whole county. Mm-hmm. Um, but we've you know we got a lot of farmland, so we do a lot of country homes, a lot of farms. Is there a lot of auctions for farms there? Yeah, and it's like in our area, it seems like every farm is auctioned, or it's dealing with their equipment, or yeah, we we do have a lot of that. Of course, we went to a lot more online auctions now mm-hmm. instead of the traditional live auctions, yeah. and I think some of that's a result of the COVID. You know, I remember the last live auction we did before COVID, and then after that, March twenty twenty, I guess it was really like shut down. Do y'all do very much personal property auctions? We do some, but we mainly concentrate on the real estate. Yeah. So. Matt, why don't you come in and jump jump in? Come on down. Talk auctions. Huh? We're just going to talk. And Matt is the the licensed auctioneer. So you have to have a license in Virginia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So So, Oklahoma, you don't. Yeah. So current, so I'm not a licensed auctioneer. So currently I'll go out, look at a listing appointment. And then, you know, if I get the thought that it, appears like it's a good auction candidate yeah then i kick it over to to matt and he rolls the he rolls it from What's there some of the criteria you look for in that high demand mm-hmm. um of course i mean that's i guess we're all lo- always looking for something that's in high demand if whether we're selling it traditionally or auction but in addition to the high demand just something that's got a little special touch uh i was showing one to peyton earlier i showed up for a house listing normal looking house but the backyard Mm-hmm. You can see about who knows how many miles into another state with wow. a, with a view. Really? So yeah. when I when I got to the backyard, I said, "This is not a listing. This is like an online auction, yeah. but we've termed it a jumpstart program instead of the word auction." So, I mean, that's nice. That because oh, yeah. a lot I feel like coming from the traditional real estate side, like I kind of wanted to hold my listings and not say let's auction them but yeah. now that we're moving into auctions i definitely have a different mentality because yeah. you could bring more for that property mm-hmm. so you guys just closed out an auction here so that was four parcels one owner four, four yeah four tracks mm-hmm. one owner one owner yep. and you sold two of them just now right so how long how long did you have that one like a week out that you started marketing it 30 days 30 days yeah mm-hmm. so how many acres 50 in each track? No, there was two, like two and a half acre tracks, yeah. and then a, a 15 acre track and a 31. And this is Matt Galmore. Yeah. He's the broker at United office. Blue Ridge Land and Auction. <laughs> yeah, somewhere <laughs> in Virginia, in the in the, in the the hills in of Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. We need yeah. to go to Virginia. I've never been. We, yeah. we, we, we need to go Oklahoma. visit them. Yeah. yeah. We'll go. I'm sure y'all yeah. been to Oklahoma. But I, I think, yeah. See, it's perfect. I, I think one of the things what you were talking about, like as far as auctions go, a lot of people have the idea that you only do an auction if it's a fire sale, your last resort. You know, it's that's just not a, see, that's looking. not what you said, but you're, no, I, mean, I think you yeah, make a great point yeah. because I think that's how people, a lot of people yeah. envision that. But they, that's why we termed it. The, yeah. 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 And then what are you uh, using the term for it? Jumpstart. Jumpstart. I remember you talking about that last year. Mm-hmm. Jumpstart. It's just, we named it different because we don't want, sometimes people have that stigma with an auction. Right. But the, the auction, the best auction is for high demand assets. Right. That's why that's why they sell priceless art and hot rods and antique cars and stuff. Mm-hmm. That, that all that stuff gets sold at auction. I mean, so that yeah, makes sense. yeah. So now on the like the buyers want to hear the word auction, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but these, they think they're getting a deal. Exactly, but these sellers who's probably never even hardly sold maybe any real estate in the past, they hear the word auction, they think the fire sale. Mm-hmm. So we term it jumpstart program. To yeah. them. It's funny because the way you even put that, it's like you're going to specially select this property yeah. to go for auction, which puts it at a higher almost value, but a higher thought mm-hmm. than just what a lot of people think about, like you're saying, yeah. just yeah. last resort kind of yeah. deal. And and it's good for the buyers too. Yeah. Because all right, so if you have a property, traditional listing, and it's a high demand property, mm-hmm. everybody's gonna want to call on it, everybody's gonna want to make an offer on it. Yeah. Okay. So what you do, you get all these multiple offers in and then the real estate agents say, Hey, 
do your highest and best offer. Right, do a multiple offer. See, that's not transparent. Yeah. Like an auction, you you know you can, what the offer You is. can see right there what yeah. the bid is. And then when you get out bid, you know, again. That's you know, a good point, yeah. Instead of guessing, well, what's that other family? What are they offering right. on? But it's transparent. Mm-hmm. So that's what I like about right. it. Right. Yeah. Okay, so these four parcels that you just did, what made you determine those were best suited for auction than traditional sale? It had a view of the Buffalo Mountain which is kind of a, a big deal in our area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people hike on that. And then uh, it just had a really nice creek along the back. Okay. Kind of flowing through it. Right. And, you know, when I was out there, I was sitting there thinking, you know, a lot of people would like this property. Yeah. They would really like it. I liked it. So, so you split it up into four tracks. Cause mm-hmm. Same owner. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. he already had it. Yeah. But it was sold in four different tracks. Okay. And then if somebody wanted all of it, yeah. they just got to be the high bidder on all of it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it was obviously all online. How long? I mean, what's the like opening bid time to closing bid time? Like, how much time is that? About 30 days. So y'all started 30 days yeah. ago. Yeah. And you ended it today. Yeah. So, like, the, the, the two that we got sold were already, they already reached the point they needed to reach, mm-hmm. you know, earlier this week. So, and then the other two, you know, we're still trying to work something out on this. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you don't think of, like, an auction lasting that long, but when no. when you're in, it makes yeah. sense with real estate. Yeah. And I actually, you know, I, we went to a real estate auction live not that long ago, and I'm like, what? There wasn't much to talk about. You had two bidders, and I see why online makes a lot more sense. Yeah. And you end up having this group show up. They're providing coffee and donuts, but yet there's really only two people bidding mm-hmm. and, and really what does the auctioneer have to talk about the same price here we go yeah it really price. and i hated yeah. it because yeah. it almost felt like begging which is part it of it did seem like begging problem. yeah and- well the online stuff too if you got somebody for instance we have we have people out of state mm-hmm. or they'll come look at it beforehand and then do all their due diligence. Sometimes they don't, some people don't even look at them. Right. But the fact is, is they can sit there in their basement or wherever they have their computer Mm -hmm. or their laptop or their phone. And they can sit there and they only have to, you know, they don't, they never have to come back up for the auction. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and the other thing, I think it's a good point for the sellers that's interested in this is the collusion that sometimes take place at a on, on site, on ground auction. So let's Mm -hmm. say you're, out in Oklahoma and you're selling a piece of farm ground and you got four or five of the same farmers or around the area show up, you know, no one wants to outbid this guy and cause afraid of feelings getting hurt or they want to try to keep it low price. Because they've all owned that land for 30 plus years or whatever. The the person who really gets hurt on that is the seller. Yeah, Yeah. that makes sense. So if we're online and nobody knows the identities uh, and everybody just has a username, Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Got a handle. Do it works guys, out a lot better for the seller. Do you do both? Do you do online and live? Mm-hmm. So you do the, some the, of them. Yeah, the perfect live auction mm-hmm. is if you're selling a piece of land and you got neighbors on either side. Yeah. And they hate each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're all in small enough areas. We know. Yeah. 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 And if you or and if and both of them have money and they they right. don't want the other one to get it or you got family members that hate each other. Yeah. yeah. And they are sitting there bidding and they don't want they don't want their brother getting it. Right. You know. So that's 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 a good that's right. I mean, it's sad that that kind of thing happens. It does. Yeah. But I mean, it's reality. With the with y'all software that you use for the online bidding, does it have a feature in there that like if somebody bids in the last few minutes, it will continue that yeah. bid? How yeah, does, how does that work? Like, it's called a soft work? close. Okay. So if somebody bids, if the auction ends at four o'clock, somebody bids at three fifty nine, then it mm-hmm. gets extended for about two two and a half minutes, and it'll continue that deal yeah. as long as people are bidding. Yeah. And do you just have that in your terms and conditions? On yeah. The time? Yeah. We explain. Oh, actually, okay. I'd heard of that before. That's why I asked about it. To me, that mm. seems like a good feature. That way, if you have, yeah. do have this off weird bid yeah. right at the last minute, and you yeah. know, somebody really wanted it, yeah. yeah, then they have the opportunity to extend that. Right. Bid. And then, and if you got four tracks. Mm-hmm. that are like being sold if somebody bids on number three all four of them get extended and the reason that you do it like that is in case somebody wants to buy all of it yeah. be the winning bidder on all of it and have it all keep it all okay. together yeah. yeah 
So when you have like four tracks, do you offer it like a couple of different ways first? Or are you just selling them all four separate? Just do all the individual tracks. Yeah. Okay. And then just, and then there's the, the, the explanation on the website says, Hey, if you want to, if you want to buy it all, you got to be the winning bidder on all of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So it's pretty slick. Works good. Yeah. Pretty slick. It's Meaning pretty slick. they have to bid <laughs> yeah. four different times and they yeah. have to, yeah. if they want the whole thing. Because yep. we had gone to one where they offered it three different ways, but it was like a house, a shop, and then I can't remember how many acres. Yeah, they offered like, it like hundred acres total in like thirds and then like completely yeah. in tenths. So yeah. So round right. one was all of it. Yeah. Round two was like house, shop, and 10 acres yeah. and round three, they broke it up into like 20 tracks. Yeah. So that you can do that with a live auction and sometimes yeah. that's the way to do it. But the bid platforms, it's too hard to make sure that people understand what's going yeah. on. That's so pretty that's, complicated being there in person. Yeah. I mean, that. imagine trying to do it online. Yeah. Yeah. Like you and had all did. these shifting and yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. They I mean, had it and, online and there was a little bit of a hiccup. Yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. automatically, oh, we got yeah. the winning like, bed online, and then they yeah. realize real quick, no, they didn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they really high. We went yeah. 100,000, they yeah. went up to 300,000, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah the the technology. I don't know that it's that it's quite there to do like combinations and multi parts. It, I mean, it's available where you can do it, but I don't know that the buyers and the people that right. are bidding are really going to understand it. Like you really need to map it out. I will say that they explained it really mm-hmm. well, and he had a mm-hmm. diagram and in the mm-hmm. terms and condition there was a map, but yeah. it ended up going in round two to four different mm-hmm. people. Uncertainty yeah. will kill an auction. That makes sense. If people aren't sure what they're bidding right. on, that's uh, why you get all that information uh, yeah, out ahead of time. Yeah. yeah. That's it, good. It'll it'll kill it. Yeah. So you said yeah. that you guys don't do personal property or equipment or anything. Do you guys not? N- no, we do those. You do equipment, but well, just not as much. Yeah. But I mean, ninety percent of our stuff is real estate. But we do. We've got an equipment auction and personal property auction that's up online right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does that have anything to do with the selling of their property? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that, that's you get excited over farm equipment auction. My bedpan auctions aren't quite as exciting. Bedpan, but <laughs> no, pots and pans. Farm, yeah. farm, right. and, farm equipment is exciting. Uh, that's yeah. one thing they talked about at auctioneer school. You don't want to be known for the garage sale, basically. Pretty <laughs> right. much. But, you can brand yourself that way if you do a whole Wait, lot of them. That's yeah. what Jimmy Dean said. Don't, don't be known as that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to do that. Yeah. So yeah. we do that as a service. If somebody says sell our house and then they're like, man, there's just too much personal problem. We don't know what to do. We're right. overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Then we do it in that, in that instance. So Burl also has a um, home health care business. So yeah. what we've done is, oh, the home health care is going to do an estate sale right. and flip it yeah. to yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Makes it a little easier to separate the two. Yeah. In fact, to what we just have an auction, we just signed an agreement for an auction, personal property equipment. Yeah. On uh, it's coming up quick, April twenty second. So you want to come visit Oklahoma? <laughs> there you go. There's oh. a reason to come visit. Yeah. That's one of the states I've never been to. Say it's mm-hmm. yeah. a good time. Yeah, yeah, I know a lot of people in Oklahoma. We live yeah. right on three sixty six. Yeah, I know a lot. We, and Sean yeah, is originally yeah. from Oklahoma. Really. Sean Terrell. Oh, I think so. Right. Enid. Yeah. And then uh Going for some the reason I'm thinking that uh right. Jimmy Teddy Dean's Dean. got some kind of he's from Indiana, but I think so Phyllis Kristen might be I, yeah. State. Yeah. yeah. Stacy yeah. and I come to Virginia. What's our must see? What's a good trade off? If you come April twenty second, what can we do to get y'all <laughs> to come help? To, to come to Oklahoma. Yeah. He said, money's right. He'll come <laughs> out on the board. Okay. Beer. <laughs> That's yeah. easy. Beverage. Yeah. Done. Done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Teach so us Burl, how to rope. Teach you how to rope. Yeah. Yeah. Burl used to have a ranch. How <laughs> did he? Nope. There you go. Yeah. We got a couple some horses. horses. Yeah. yeah. I've, he's got, he <laughs> got 15. He got 15 of them. 15, yeah. Levi. No, 10. 10. <laughs> 10. Yeah. Gated horse. I got. I yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that means. Mainly had so quarter horses. horses. They're not. They're not. <laughs> well, they're he had pets. quarter horses, so they're they're only a quarter of what my horse is. Mine's a walking. <laughs> mine's a full. They're not. Yeah. They're not yeah. dressage. Is you that a dog? I feel like that sounds like a dog. Gated. 
Well, we want to. We definitely yeah. want to give a plug to you guys. Um, if you don't mind, tell, tell how um, people listening could reach out to you guys and maybe connect or your mm-hmm. website where you're doing your auctions. Yeah. is a great place. So it's V A, like the initials for Virginia, <laughs> and then the word auction, and then mm-hmm. pro, like a golf pro. So it's V A Auction Pro dot com. Okay, and then and you then, have a YouTube channel. Yeah, and there's some great videos on there. Yeah. You guys, it's not fancy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We just country boys. We just kind of walk around and talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell us the name of your YouTube. If anybody channel. has any problems sleeping at night, <laughs> they can go watch that. <laughs> they can watch that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But so, that yeah, it's a United Country Blue Ridge Land and Auction. That's our YouTube channel. So, and Matt, you've won the Genesis Award, right? Mm-hmm. How many years ago did you win that? It's like four or five, I think. Where were we for that one? Do you remember? Heck. Uh, maybe it was Nashville. Nashville. All right. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Nashville or Hilton. Hills. And then, oh, okay. Yeah. That was one. It was, yeah. It All was right. one of those. So, at the end of uh, each of our podcast we do a little game it's called yeah. overrated underrated Uh-oh, you're prepared. i thought we was gonna have to sing or something mm-hmm. y'all do Stacey like to prepared. sing Not y'all like some karaoke yeah <laughs> what is your favorite song that you can do a duet for us real quick just do it to oh, you no, awesome. brother jukebox probably and then we'll oh, do yeah. our game all right let's do this we'll <laughs> just know a little bit of it just a little bit just yeah. the chords a little right. mark chestnut yeah uh, okay you ready? Oh, a two, a one, two, three, four. Brother G Box, <laughs> Sister Wine, Mother Freedom, Father of Time. Since you left me by myself, you're the only family. I got live. <laughs> I, I, I would like to. I would like to note though that probably sounded like perfect harmony. That's mm. because we're cousins. Yeah. <laughs> so, there's a lot that of wonders. Good. Somebody lot. wonders why that sounded yeah. so harmonistic. It's I, I'm we're family. It's definitely there's a, family. There's a, there's Your wives a lot of, are so lucky. <laughs> well, they yeah. <laughs> They don't maybe sometimes realize. Yeah, I don't know if they would, if, if they yeah. that or not. <laughs> Where I don't see them around here. Where are they? Yeah, they're so they're so impressed. They're not even. They here. are not even right. here. Yeah. Not even here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Lordy. Okay, you, you have start? Yeah, no, start. Uh, you go. Okay, so overrated, underrated. You guys are going to participate. How about being on the beach when it's sixty degrees? Overrated, underrated, or just right? <sighs> I think it's overrated. I don't want to be cold on the beach. It's not. I'm not a fan. Yeah. I want to be short, wearing shorts. I think this is the first time I've ever been to the beach when it's this cold. Yeah, I don't like it. But it, it doesn't take long to warm up once you get up. If there. you're playing volleyball, right. yeah. What do y'all think? I think overrated. overrated. Just right. I don't know. You I like don't know. If you're I said, fishing? Okay. I said yeah. overrated, but I mean, let's think about it. We're up in the mountains in Southwest Virginia. Y'all in Oklahoma? Yeah. So this <laughs> is mean, probably great weather for y'all. Weather. Mm-hmm. If it's just water out there and they're saying, yeah, maybe it's good all the time. I like the view. I just want to be sitting in the sun by mm-hmm. a fire. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll that's what's that. missing a fire. We need a fire. Yeah. Let's have a crab bake. I think everybody where we live has a fire in yeah, the backyard. We, do. we have a fire. We have like, we have three I, think fire it all, I think it all depends on what time of the year you ask me that question. This time of year, I'll take it. You asked me that in September? Yeah. I'd be like, no, this this got to warm up out here. <laughs> right. I don't like it when it's like 100 degrees, humid, and, you know, you're burning your feet while you're walking on the sand. That's a good point. I'll yeah. give you that, too. Okay, I got All one. Right, so, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, sand volleyball. Sand volleyball. Definitely underrated. That stuff, you, your athleticism comes out like once I a year agree. when you come on vacation. I agree. <laughs> what do y'all, have fun. y'all played sand volleyball since you've been here? Mm-mm. No. Okay, I say Elk City versus Floyd, uh, Virginia. We we'll make it happen. He's already got a swimming event taking place. <laughs> you do? Him and one of the other agents who's Devin an just, Olympic. Devin just snorted. She's yeah. In, yeah. <laughs> Devin just snorted. <laughs> yeah, I got myself into something. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that can be after our volleyball tournament. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sierra played with us yesterday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like if, we've got this. I don't know if we have any <laughs> Olympic volleyball players, but we have an Olympic swimmer. Matt yeah. Galmore had no idea. It ain't me. I just, I told him, I challenged him. And I might be, I might be really, 
exaggerating this Olympic she was swimmer, a college but trainer. she told me, and I, and I just took certain words, that she trained U.S. Olympic swimmers. So training. She's a trainer. She's a she, coach for them. In my book, you're pretty it. much what an Olympic swimmer. What time of day did you have Pretty this conversation and how much It's alcohol. been, it's happened a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> next one, since we are in uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama, uh, oysters. Overrated, underrated, or just right? I'm going to say just right. I just kind of started to like them. Yeah. You like but then them, I, you like I them doctored this, up with yeah. the. Then I started following this doctor on TikTok, and mm-hmm. she said, "Don't eat them. Yeah. You know that they eat the worst things in the ocean. Do you know how the they're bottom like feeders? Bottom feeders. Yeah. They're yeah. bottom feeders. Yeah, kind of like a catfish. And then you're eating raw oysters and get sick. That that ex, that just explained a lot. Would right you there. eat uh, oysters in Oklahoma? No, never. Ne- no. <laughs> never. Never. Do you know what we could take them to do when they come to Oklahoma? What noodling? Oh boy, noodling. Mm-hmm. Oh, they boy. need to That's come him. when there's the noodle festival. <laughs> Do y'all know perfect. what that is? Uh, yeah, I used to watch them. There we go. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't realize Noodling. this thing such as a noodle festival. <laughs> oh, there's a noodle festival. Mm-hmm. It is. I'd good. be afraid. I'd grab one of them cotton mouths or good. something. <laughs> Because we don't have that. Nice. Yeah. We oh, don't. we're doing that. Noodling. Right, Y'all got, you got, what you got cotton mouths oysters? in Oklahoma. Y'all like some don't oysters? You? I'm yeah. not much on seafood. No, nah, me neither. No yeah, bottom, I like, well, I, I like, love seafood, but not the raw stuff. Not the bottom yeah. feeders. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I like my stuff to have four legs. <laughs> or I guess a chicken, two legs. We're talking about seafood <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah. I like legs. Yeah. <laughs> <He's a> leg <laughs> you got man. one? No, that's good. You're good. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you all. That was fun.